The Tui oil field, located 50 kilometres off the Taranaki coast, is a subsea development featuring eight wells and associated infrastructure on the sea floor. Connected to this infrastructure is a floating production storage and offloading vessel, an FPSO, called the Umaroa. The Umaroa was used to process and store the oil extracted from the field. Now that the Tui field has reached the end of its productive life, it is time to decommission the field. This will take place in three stages. The first stage of decommissioning involves disconnecting the FPSO from the field infrastructure. The flow lines have been flushed, and in this stage, they will be disconnected and lowered to the sea floor along with the mooring system. Once disconnected from the field, the umaroa will depart. The second stage of the process is the removal of the subsea infrastructure. A construction support vessel will be used to lift the anchor chains, flow lines and umbilicals to the surface and onto the vessel. Risers and other parts of the subsea infrastructure will also be lifted to the surface. Once this stage is complete, the construction support vessel will leave the field. The third stage of the process is the plugging and abandoning of the wells. A light well intervention vessel or semi-submersible drilling rig will be used to decommission the wells. A remotely operated underwater vehicle will inspect the subsea Christmas tree which is the equipment that controls the flow produced by the well. To plug the well bore, two cement plugs are inserted. The associated riser is then pulled to the surface and the Christmas tree is removed. The light well intervention vessel departs. Once the infrastructure is removed, the wells are considered plugged and abandoned, leaving the seafloor free from any equipment and restored to its natural state. <laughs>